Hey there everyone, this is Jeff Perkins with JD Cutlery putting together another quick video on some newly anodized Zero Tolerance 0460s. Um, they are the Sinkovich design. I did a video earlier, well I guess it was last month, uh, with my first round of the 460s. Um, this is my second round. The first round sold out pretty fast. Um, I do have another, let's see, i got six here. I've got three more that I'm getting ready to do as well. Um, so I just thought I'd throw up a quick video showing you guys what's out there, what I've been working on, and we'll kind of run with it from there. Go ahead and do these one at a time. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start off with this one. Uh, this one is already sold. This is a nice purple-blue fade with a satin finish on the pocket clip, buffed screws, buffed pivots, everything buffed out real nice. Uh, this is for one of my repeat customers. He's the first one that had me buff hardware and definitely uh, it's been a good trend since then. It uh, is a nice selling point. Sometimes you just like that nice flashy shiny screw and hardware to really set it off. This one did turn out very nice. There is more purple in this. Again, having the same old issue where the purple doesn't show up quite as bright in the video. Um, this is a nice purple blue fade centering on that is pretty much right on. These are good little flippers, very smooth. Key to flipping this knife is making sure you've got your fingers on that pocket clip. If your finger touches that lock bar at all, you will not be able to flip it. Um, so just make sure your fingers are on the pocket clip and she will flip beautifully for you. Haven't had any issues at all with this model. Um, so nice and smooth. Good flippers, has that nice carbon fiber that's got the bronze weave in it, looks really sharp. Again, nice purple and blue. This one is already pre-sold. Um, let's go ahead and jump into one of my two-tone uh, patinaed look. So we started off with a yellow base, um, anodized everything yellow sanded the flats, gave it a nice blue, but I did leave shading of that yellow. Now this bright spot here will be blue, it just needs to be wiped off. Um, but you've got shading of the yellow through the lock bar, a little bit of shading there in the back, and a little bit of shading up here um, for a blue-yellow patina look. Um, this one's got some fingerprints on it already, so let's see. So like that shiny's already pretty much out of there. It is a little fingerprinty. Uh, these lower voltage blues do show fingerprints a little bit, but uh, still a very sharp looking knife. I really like that two-tone with the patina look to it. Um, these are all locking up nice and early. This one's probably about 20%. Again, centering is real good and flipping action. As long as you keep those fingers back, it's really good. So there's a nice golden blue. Let's go ahead and jump into one of my funkier... Uh, this is a green background with a gold to purple to blue uh, fade in the drizzle. Left the hardware alone on this one. Centering on this one's about probably 40%. But really did turn out pretty nice. The gold to purple to blue drizzle effect with that nice green background. Very good looking knife. I really like the... I like that they didn't go with just a standard carbon fiber on these. That bronze carbon fiber really helps give it that extra pop. Ah, see, there you go. With my finger on that lock bar, it will not open. Pull that finger back, and it's perfect. It's going to fly every single time for you. So, 
Definitely would be a good hit for the ladies. Nice small knife. Definitely uh, comparable to the 450. Um, actually, I'll probably grab one of those out in just a minute just to throw a comparison up here for size. Um, but very comparable to the 450. Very ergonomic. I like the, the, the sweep of the back. Your thumb wants to go up on there. For my hand, it's a tiny bit short. I mean, it's still something that I could use real easy. No hot spots with the pocket clip. But, uh, but definitely good if you've got a smaller hand. If you're looking for something thin that's going to disappear in your pocket, this is a very good choice. Um, let me grab one of those 450s real quick. Okay, here's one of the 450 CFs. So you've got a 450 CF here, and you've got the 460 right above it. If you put that up butt to butt, you are pretty much the same exact length. The tip of the 450 might be out maybe a quarter of an inch, but you've got more cutting edge with the sweep of the 460. So definitely very comparable to the 450 in size. Very good alternative choice. Um, this one I did a nice deep bronze. That bronze is real nice. Trying to match the bronze of the, the carbon fiber. So pretty good looking knife. If you want something a little more subdued. Not the standard silver. Got a nice bronze for you. Again, we're probably about 30%, 20 to 30% lock up on that one. And these do center up really nicely, so that's very nice. It's hard to see in some of the pictures, but in this video, it picks it up really nicely. So centers in nice. Again, great flipper. Nice, light little knife. Definitely lighter than the 450. That carbon fiber is giving it... A much uh, much lighter weight at least it feels lighter in the hand um, but actually it probably feels even a little bit lighter than that 450 CF so when you have it in your hand it's a very nice light light knife like I said good one that'll disappear in your pocket nicely um, this one is a green background that we sanded the purple flat and again left some of that patina look now this shows up a little bit blue in the video here again that's a nice bright sharp purple so that's a a purple not so much a blue there you go you kinda get the purple look there and then you've got the patinaed look so so that's what that purple looks like you got the purple purple green uh, look to it. I like that kind of patinaed look. Helps hide fingerprints. Very sharp looking little knife. I left the hardware alone on this one. Um, pocket clip is nice. Nice and small. Pretty much disappears in the pocket. You do have your steer lock bar insert. Again it's the S35VN. Sinkovich design. Very good looking little knives. Got that aluminum uh, backspacer that's got some jimping. So if you were to grip it that way, you got a little bit of jimping. No real jimping up on top though. Really, it's just, just that backspacer that has the jimping. So that is the purple, purple green combo. And we've got a nice little blue green fade. Again, satin finish the pocket clip, buffed out the screws and the pivot. Same on the other side. Definitely gives it a little bit more life. That color pops nicely. It is a really nice high voltage blue uh, going into your green. Centering on this one, probably about 30% on that. And again. I'm sorry, lockup would be 30%. Centering is just about perfect. And again, a nice, sweet little flipper. 
So if you are looking for a, oh, pardon me, smaller EDC that's gonna fit in your pocket, disappear. If you've got a smaller hand, definitely a very good choice. Um, another great Sinkovich zero tolerance collaboration. Really can't go wrong with any of them that uh, they've come up with. Uh, they're all very nice designs. Um, so this is the current current stock of the four four sixties that I have done. Um, like I said, the purple blue one is already sold. Uh, the rest of them, with the exception of the bronze one, are actually the bronze one and the blue green one. So the other three, the purple purple green, the green with the fade drizzle and the yellow blue are already posted on the site. I'm hoping to have the other ones uh, that are available posted in the next couple days. Well, thank you for tuning in and we'll see you on the next video.